Hey guys, it's been three months from the last episode. I know that is pretty much time, but here it is right now and enjoy it. Okay, in the beginning you can see that I'm not longer stretched and that's because of my small application that I developed. I'm still using my 4x3 webcam, but you can see me now in widescreen 16x9. Also, probably you can hear me much better. It's because of our my new mic. And the other guy, he didn't do anything, so he's not in this video. Also, the things that I will show you are game editor. It's nothing special currently, but I'm working, I'm, I'm doing it with Windows API. I'm not using Visual Studio, so it's a little bit harder. And also one cool thing, and that is my viewer. It's awesome to me. So, and also uh, I was working on Skycube, Skycube system or Skybox, how do you want to call it? If you don't know what it is, you will see it soon. And I developed small game in which I will show you all that. So enjoy this video. The first thing I want to show to you is our viewer. As you can assume, it's used for viewing files. So the first thing you can notice is that there are no buttons or menus or anything like that because I decided to do it on drag and drop system. So everything I want to view in it. I just drag and drop it. So, for example, our logo bitmap, I just drag and drop it inside. It's actually displayed on the cube, so I can rotate around, view it from different angles, zoom, so go further. Also, the second thing we can view with it are models. So, let's load Megadude model. And the reason why he didn't use his texture is because our engine currently isn't lo loading information about skins from the model because we aren't using our own model types but those in industry standards it will be done in the future so I now need to load his skin while I'm doing it I need to hold control because if I just drag and drop his text inside it will also appear on the cube the third thing uh, our viewer is able to view are the level files fpx level files but that is something that i will show you later in this video and here it is the game editor as you can see nothing special pretty much basic and i write it all with Windows API I didn't use Visual Studio so let's start with it loading some textures also loading models Megadon model and the platform and the third thing I need are behaviors behaviors are loaded from the C++ file and here it is so this will also be different pretty much I will do the separate list for every type probably so and this is the thing that will not be like this because I want a really easy way to work with it this is here just for now it will be removed so I need to select bitmap texture and the model and also the behavior of the object so that I can place it and I'm placing it just by clicking around so you can see these platforms appearing on the places that I click so I will also create Megadude I just need to select it all okay I did now and it will be right here so you can see this level loaded you can see Megadude and everything all these 
platforms and I will now save it and I will save it as I don't know mega dude demo let's click save and as you can see it appear right here it's fpxl frozen pixel level file so I will drag and drop it in the FPX viewer and it will appear in the FPX viewer and as you can see it's the same level I just saved a few seconds ago so you can see it's working and that's it from the FPX game editor and this is the small game I was talking about as you can see you are in a role of cannon and your goal is to hit these balloons once you shoot a bullet you lose 50 points by hitting the target the balloon you're gaining points this example shows you how engine can handle removing and creating entities uh, once these balloons go too high they were removed also every few seconds from the different places in the level the balloons are created once I get to 2000 points I will be transferred to the next level so that will show you the level loading procedure and as you can see everything around it looks like nature that is real but it's just a picture it's a sky cube so it's picture showed on the cube so that looks like it's around that you can approach it but you can't if you try to go to it it will just stay at the same distance so here is the second level it loaded after I gained 2000 points also right now the background is the sky cube skybox how do you want to call it is changed also the cannon is changed and the position of the cannon in the last level it was castle right now cannon is on a wooden platform so I hope you like this uh, oh, and also one thing I would like to say it's that everything you can see are models except the skybox these balloons are three-dimensional models they are not sprites so and also bullets are three-dimensional uh, I'm not sure how good you, you can see that in this video quality but I hope you see it so that's it